elk's bugle. It's calling for females to come and mate with him and other males to stay away. Elk, or wapiti, as it was named by the Shawnee for its distinct white rump, is a large species within the deer family. When Europeans arrived in North America, elk was the most widely distributed hooved animal on the continent and was found across southern Canada from Vancouver Island to Quebec. Because of land settlement and market hunting in the 1800s, elk became extinct in eastern Canada. By 1900, the original North American population of several million elk fell to under 100,000. Recently, thanks to the conservation efforts, their numbers in British Columbia have somewhat recovered and we have small but stable populations in the mountainous areas and dense rainforests of Vancouver Island. Early European explorers who were familiar with the smaller red deers of Europe thought that the larger North American animal resembled a moose and consequently gave it the name elk, which is the common European name for moose. The moose, however, is still a larger species, the largest of the deer family, and can be distinguished from an elk by their chocolate brown color and distinctive broad, flat, shovel-like antlers on the male. Male elk have pointed antlers that they shed each winter and begin to grow back in the spring in preparation for mating season in the fall. During the rutting season, the bugling of an elk echoes through the mountains. These powerful animals strip the velvet off of their new antlers, using them in violent clashes that determine who gets to mate with whom. Males with the bigger antlers, typically older animals, usually win these battles and dominate small herds. In early summer, elk migrate to high mountain grazing grounds where the cows or females will give birth. Each cow typically has a single calf, which can stand by the time it is 20 minutes old. Calves are born spotted to aid in camouflage, as it is common in many deer species, and they lose their spots by the end of summer. Elk are a herbivorous grazing animal. They eat shrubs and grasses, such as bunch grass, throughout the year and occasionally chew on aspen, sumac, and jack pine bark in the winter. They are social animals and herd together while traveling within their range. Elk are intelligent animals that learn from experience and adapt to changing conditions. Hunted elk become wary, secretive, and nocturnal and learn the location of protective reserves. Herds that are not subjected to hunting or harassment, such as those in national parks, frequently graze on highway verges or golf courses and may react aggressively towards people. Like bison, elk are among the most easily domesticated American ungulates, and in some places they are the focus of game ranching activity. But British Columbia does not permit elk ranching. Elk conservation programs have a long history in the province. The early 1900s saw the initiation of measures such as closed and restricted hunting seasons, game reserves, and the introduction of elk in numerous regions. Recent government initiatives, such as the Protected Area Strategy, have protected new reserves that contain elk, particularly in the Northern Rockies. However, habitat destruction, death on highways and railways, and poaching remain to be the main cause of concern for conservationists. Continued support and effort is needed to secure the future of elk populations in this area. If we give it the attention it deserves, the magnificent Wapiti will always be a part of British Columbia's diverse fauna.